friends and welcome to Recon Civil Academy video series. In this video series, we are giving you the solutions of the questions that appeared in the previous years of GATE and Engineering Services. We divide this into two parts, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 is easy and level 2 is conceptual and sometimes time consuming. The topic is analysis of stress which you call it as more circle. In the previous video, I solve up to question number 7. Today, I will start from question number 8. So, let us move to question number 8. In a plane stress problem, there are normal tensile stresses sigma x sigma y accomplished by shear stress tau xy at a plane along orthogonal Cartesian coordinate x and y respectively. If it is observed that the minimum principal stress on a certain plane is 0, then tau xy is equal to. Now friends, if you see and observe the answer without any calculation as an engineer, I can say that C is the right answer. Because units are not matching in other three options. I cannot have uh, stress is equal to root of stress plus stress. I cannot have a stress is equal to root of stress minus stress. And I cannot have stress is equal to root of stress divided by stress because unit will not match. Here I have unit as Newton per mm square and here I will be having unit of Newton per mm square of root. So they are not matching. So without any calculation you can say that this is the right answer. Let us come to the solution. So he is saying that the minimum principal stress. So what is minimum principal stress? Sigma minimum is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus q square. Now this is equal to 0. So what I get? Sigma x plus sigma y by 2 whole square is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus q square. I just square this and square this part and this is equal to 0. So if you solve what you will get q is equal to root of sigma x sigma y that is c answer. So sometimes by observation you can get a easy and quickly answers. Now come to the question number 9. The state of stress on an element is shown in the given figure. So this is the our figure. The value of the stresses are sigma x is 32. So this is 32 and sigma y is minus 10 compressive so it is minus 10 okay and major principal stress is 40 so given is sigma max is 40 the minor principal stress will be my one of the favorite questions why because it uses a very special condition sum of the stresses at orthogonal planes is constant it means that sigma x plus sigma y is equal to sigma max plus sigma minimum. This is a condition I have discussed while I was discussing analytical solutions. So do watch that video to understand this concept. So in this sigma x is given as 32, sigma y is given as minus 10, sigma maximum is given as 40 and they have asked us about sigma minimum. So if you solve what you will get sigma minimum as it will be minus 80. So B is the right answer. Now come to the question number 10. A shaft of diameter D is subjected to bending moment M and twisting moment T. The developed principal stress will be. This is a repetition question. If you watch my previous video, question number 1 and question number 5 is of the same type. Question number 11. In a two dimension stress system, the direct stresses on two plane at 45 degree and 135 degree to the principal plane have the same magnitude and nature and shear stress. And the reason is point representing these stresses are on the ends of the vertical diameter of the Mohr circle. So if you see what he means to say, if this is my Mohr circle, then OA and OB are two planes. This angle is 90 and this angle is 270. But actually this angle is 45 and this angle is 135. 
I told you in my previous videos also that the more circle angle is double of the actual angle. So if this is 90 on the more circle, then actual angle is 45. So these two points he is discussing. Okay, 45 degree and 135 degree. They are on the opposite side of the more circle and e represent the equal stress. So this is also right and this is also right and this is the correct explanation of this. this will be my answer. A is my answer. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Now take question number 12. In an analysis of two dimension stresses, the normal stress on a plane will be greater than the average principal stress if the inclination of that plane with the plane of maximum principal stress is less than 45 degree. So if I draw a mode circle and this is my center, this is my maximum principal plane. If the angle is less than 90, when I am in this area, at any point the normal stress will be greater than this value. Normal stress at this plane, it will be, uh, this is sigma minimum and this is sigma maximum. So what is the stress at this plane? It will be sigma max plus sigma minimum by 2. Now in this region, this value is always greater than O. This is a right state. And as I always told you that this angle is a 90 but actually this angle is 45. Now R. The horizontal coordinate of the point on the mode circle represent the stress on the given plane which is greater than the coordinate of the center of the mode circle. I just explained this part. So this is also right and A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Now let us see question number 13. The principal stresses at a point in a strained material are P1 and P2. The resultant stress PR on the plane carrying the maximum shear stress would be. We will solve this question using more circle. He is giving this value as a P2 and this as P1. Then what is this point? This point will be P1 plus P2 by 2. And how much is this ordinate? This ordinate will be, uh, sorry, what will be this shear stress? The shear stress will be P1 minus P2 by 2. So what is the resultant? Resultant is P1 plus P2 by 2 whole square plus P1 minus P2 by 2 whole square and root. This is the resultant PR. If you solve this, what you will get? Root of 2 P1 square plus 2 P2 square by 4. So PR is equal to root of p1 square plus p2 square by 2. b is the right answer. Now let us take question number 14. If a prismatic member having area of cross section A is subjected to a tensile load P, then the maximum shear stress and its inclination with the, this is P load. So what is the stress? It is P by A. So what is my stress element now? My stress element will be, if I draw the mode circle, this is the mode circle and maximum shear stress will be this much which is how much this is the radius of the mode circle and radius of the mode circle is equal to shear maximum. What is the radius of the mode circle? It is the sigma by 2 and what is sigma? It is P by A. So maximum shear is equal to P by 2A and what is the angle? Angle is 90 degree on the mode circle. So actual angle will be 45 degree. So what is the answer? C is the answer. 2 P by 2 A is the maximum shear stress and angle is 45 degree. Now question number 15. Consider the following statements. More circle is used to determine the stress on a oblique section of a body subjected to. Direct tensile stress on one plane accompanied by a shear stress. So let us draw the stress element. So direct stress element on one plane. So this is my direct tensile and this is my shear. I can draw the mode circle. Yes. Direct tensile stress on two mutually perpendicular direction. So these are the direct tensile and I can draw the shear stress. So this is also right. Uh, I can draw the mode circle. So this is also right. Direct tensile stress in two mutually perpendicular direction. I can draw the mode circle for this, right? A simple shear stress. Yes, I can draw the mode circle for all the four stress elements. So 
वन टू थ्री फोर ऑल आर करेक्ट नाउ कम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन ए बार ऑफ स्क्वायर क्रॉस सेक्शन हैविंग ए एरिया ए इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए कंप्रेसिव फोर्स पी एज शोन इन द फिगर विथ एन एंगल थीटा द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द टेंजेंशियल स्ट्रेस इफ आई टेक अ जनरलाइज केस ऑफ स्ट्रेस एलिमेंट सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा वाई एंड शेयर क्यू देन वॉट इज माई पी टी फॉर्मूला इट इज सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई बाई टू साइन टू थीटा प्लस क्यू कॉस ऑफ टू थीटा इन दिस केस सिग्मा वाई इज जीरो एंड क्यू इज जीरो एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा एक्स इज पी बाई ए सो पी टी विल बी इक्वल टू पी बाई ए वन बाई टू साइन ऑफ टू थीटा so what is the answer c is the answer come to the question number 17 i will take this question in my next chapter elastic constant this is a misprinted in this chapter this is actually a question of elastic constant now 18th question in a piece of stress material the principal stresses are sigma 1 tensile of value 3 and sigma 2 compressive as shown in the diagram below this is 3 and this is minus 7 the line of action of the tensile stresses make an angle theta equal to 30 degree to the normal plane ab what is the normal stress sigma n friends this is a very good question because it is very conceptual in our stress element till now this is sigma x and this is sigma y and as i discuss sigma x is greater than sigma y but in this case sigma y is greater than sigma x so what you have to do you have to rotate this figure and it will be now look like this 3 and 7 this is the plane and this angle will now be 60 degree this is very important and many student do not consider this point and make a negative marking in this question what will be my formula so under this condition this becomes my sigma x now and this becomes my sigma y what is p n or sigma n they are asking both are same sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos of 2 theta plus q sin of 2 theta q is 0 sigma x is minus 7 and sigma y is plus 3 what i get minus 7 plus 3 divided by 2 plus minus 7 minus 3 divided by 2 cos of 2 into 60 this is important so if you simplify what you will get minus 2 plus 5 sin 30 you can put cos 120 as minus sin 30 so if you solve you will get this as 0.5 so what is the answer this is a friends this is up to question number 18 if you like the video please subscribe to our channel tell to your other friends share with other friends and in the next video i will start the question from question number 19 till then enjoy your engineering thank you very much